Hi, this short video will show you around the Moodle environment we use for online courses. When you've arrived at the course site, the first thing to do is log in and then wait for a little while while the system uh, tries to log you in. You can see from this little spinning icon up here that it's taking its time. Apparently it's being quite slow today. And then go into your course. For this example, I'm going into the academic writing course. Once you enter the course, You'll see discussion topics that are active throughout the course, the announcements and cafe spaces, and the problem with technology board where you can ask for help. You can also see all of the discussion boards on one page if you prefer to browse them that way. The rest of the page is divided into sections, usually one for general course information, one with information about webinars, and one for each topic. You can use these buttons to expand and collapse the topics, which can be useful to orient yourself in the materials. For now, I'm going into the week zero induction activity, so I just need to expand that one. You'll see a summary of the week's topic, sometimes a video from the course tutors welcoming you to the course. Each topic also has several other different activities. Some might use things like Google Docs or involve working in small groups, and some or all of them might offer you a box to tick to visually indicate that you've completed that activity. Many of the activities use discussion boards, Moodle offers you various ways to manage that. If you go to the All Discussion Forums page, you can change your track and subscription settings for each discussion board by clicking in the track and subscribed columns. Tracking means the system keeps track of which messages you've read, so it can tell you how many new messages there are since you last logged on. And subscription means that you'll receive an email when someone comments in a thread. Those email notifications can quickly become overwhelming. But if you go to your profile settings at the bottom of the left hand menu, Moodle offers you a choice of di daily digest emails, either with the full posts or with the subjects only. Back to the main course page. And on the right hand side, there are blocks which allow you to search in the forums see a list of participants, and track recent activity. Recent forum posts will appear here when the course starts. If the course uses Twitter, there will also be a Twitter feed here, showing all the recent tweets with the course hashtag. If you find these blocks getting in the way, or you're working on a small screen, you can dock them like this, which means they'll show up um, over on the far side over here. If you hover over the block name, it will pop out, and then you can put it back in the sidebar by clicking on the little arrow icon. Over on the left, there's a navigation menu, which you can use to jump between sections and activities. Finally, if you have problems with the course site, something isn't working, or the technology is misbehaving in some way, you can always go to the Problems with Technology Discussion Board and someone will help you.